what's up guys how's it going my name is Loss, and welcome back to another video so we're gonna be talking about a very popular topic in the gaming industry right now which is the loot box bill um this bill i'm gonna just say straight up honestly i don't feel like it's going to pass i feel like people are overreacting of what is happening right now some people uh, I feel like I'm not going into full details on to what this bill is mainly focused on because honestly, for anybody over the age of 18, this is nothing to be concerned about in my opinion, unless they start pushing it past that age limit. But this bill, which is being introduced by the Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, uh, he is focusing more on children, children under the age of 18, so that games any games that offer loot boxes or in-game content that you can purchase um they, he basically wants to ban them uh from doing any type of malpractice when it comes to uh ch targeting children so that that way um no child can be can develop an addiction to constantly buying so much in-game content within whatever game it is that they, that they are trying to play so I, I wholeheartedly believe that this is something that a lot of us should not worry about. And especially to all of my JP players out there who play any type of JP games, this is honestly something that you don't have to worry about because this is just mainly focused in the States. So anybody outside of it honestly does not have to be too concerned about it just because um, usually when it comes to JP games, um, Japan is all about it. Japan is all about loot boxes and whatnot, but of course they do have their regulations as well because at one point in time, there was a situation where they had to start implementing laws so that that way the game won't be paid to win. It'll be a balance between free to play and pay to win. So with this, um, with this bill, and this is per the words of Senator Hartley, uh, social media and video games prey on user addiction siphoning our kids' attention from the real world and extracting profits from fostering compulsive habits. No matter this business model's advantage to the tech industry, one thing is clear, there is no excuse for exploiting children through such practices. When a game is designed for kids, game developers shouldn't be allowed to monetize addiction. And when kids play games designed for adults, they should be walled off from compulsive microtransactions. So with that, line right there with those few lines that senator harley has said basically um yeah you definitely don't want to give your child any type of like crazy addiction especially when it comes to money because i know when it comes to money it can be very hard to break an addiction especially from somebody like myself who used to wail in kingdom hearts in your cause um it, it is very hard to stop what it is that you've been doing for so long and just stop culture, you know, just, just completely stop. So I, I get what he's trying to get that he doesn't want them to develop any type of addiction. But the thing is though, this is something that is very hard to control in my opinion, because you might be able to stop one type of addiction when it comes to loot boxes. But what about the many addictions that you have out there when it comes to say, uh, being an alcoholic or smoking or just doing anything else that could potentially be dangerous for the person? Um, as they grow older. So things like this though, when it comes to related to blue boxes, I get what he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to make it so that things can be regulated so that that way kids won't have that temptation to do it. But at the same time though, parents have to also watch out for what kids are doing. They, I mean, most, most phones, most devices nowadays do have parental control, parental controls where they're able to put limits on what they can do. And of course, there are always ways to get around little things like that. But now that a bill like this is, is trying to be pushed further even more, honestly, parents need to step it up and try to, you know, implement other ways to prevent kids from, you know, being sneaky and going and grabbing your credit cards and purchasing in-game loot. So, in my opinion, I feel like there are a lot of mobile games out there. Let's let's talk specifically about mobile games. Uh, there are a lot of mobile games that you can easily be free to play. There are a lot of mobile games that are very heavy pay to win. 
and that's when situations can turn out pretty ugly for the developers of those games. So let's take example Dokkan Battle. It's a game that I've been playing uh, mainly during live streams, outside of live streams, and you know I make video content here and there whenever I get the chance. With, when it comes to Dokkan Battle, we're going to be comparing this to Union Cars, a game that I've been playing for over three years. Um, Dokkan Battle, the content that's in game is honestly not pay to win. Why? Because there are many, many units, cards that you can use to actually be able to beat the content without having that temptation to be like, oh my God, I need to pull. I need to be able to get the, the next greatest thing, etc., etc. That I feel like with how the developers of Dokkan Battle is hand handling the game to try to get any type of attention uh, from anybody or from the government or just just anybody in general is honestly a, it, it's a good thing and it's working for them because the game itself is very successful um for players who do put money into the game for free to play players uh, a lot of players can stand by that yes there is the ability to be able to uh pull for brand new units and whatnot but of course there are times where you honestly don't have to and especially when you focus on the fact that you don't need the the latest and greatest to be able to be in game content that's in the game or what or future content that comes into the game so i feel like dokkan battle is a prime example and i honestly can say that dokkan battle will not be affected by this build at all uh, because of the because of that balance of player base but mainly the balance that they do with the in game content um, now, if you compare that to Union Cross, Union Cross, uh, I've been playing it for three plus years, and back in the day, being a free-to-play player was very easy to do. There was content where it was not extremely hard, and it was very easy to complete content compared to now, where, and this is, of course, my opinion, is because I know I, there are some free-to-play players who do watch my content and will say that, you know, they are able to beat some of the content, but... The thing is though, for any brand new player as of recent, if they don't know what they're doing and they're pulling on the wrong thing and if they, they are not able to complete content, that temptation of them making them want to uh, purchase anything in game will be there. It will pop up. That's that's what happened to me. I was a free to play player when I first started playing Union Cars and then like as the brand new things started popping up here and there, it's the temptation of me being like oh my god i want to i want to be able to get this metal i want to be able to get this new thing it it starts developing and so for uh, kids uh for any any kids uh 18 or younger it's it's it would be hard to control but at the same time though if you put if parents per se if they were to put regulations on their kids devices if they were to put like any type of like uh blockage like let's say on their credit cards on their paypal account and google play anything like that to prevent that type of addiction from from developing uh that's something that could help prevent situations like this from happening because there there are adults out there like and again i speak for myself as well because i was in that situation before where i used to put a lot of money into the game like a good amount of money into into mobile games until as of last year when i finally just snapped and was like and not not only just that but also through through some uh in real life situations where uh i had to stop i had to completely stop i had to stop what i'm doing and so with this bill i feel like you know right now it's just in the talks it's not something that's going to 100 percent happen it's I, I and again i honestly feel like it's not going to actually pass because of the fact that uh, take example like many other countries like say Ireland, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Australia, New Zealand, and even the UK, they themselves say that loot boxes do not constitute gambling in their opinions. So the Entertainment Software Association or the ESA uh, basically said that 
They look forward to sharing with the Senator the tools and information the industry already provides that keeps the control of in-game spending in parents' hands. Parents already have the ability to limit or profit in-game purchases with easy to use parental controls. That's something that I mentioned earlier in this video. So um, my, my final thoughts on the loot box bill like being introduced into legislation um if it were per se to pass i feel like a lot of gacha games a lot of games that have in-game loot will participate with the bill or the protecting children from abusive games act so that they won't lose their ability to gain the money the profits it is that they gain from consumers who buy in-game content within their games i feel like they will change up how their game is going to play so it's like take example uh union cars i feel like they will most likely make content a little bit easier so that free to play players or uh, players under the age of 18 will be able to pass any type of content that they introduce into the game for any type of player whether you're free to play whether you're cheap to play or whether you uh put a heavy amount of money into the game i feel like things like that they could change around and not just for you and cars i mean i know that i don't play any other uh or every single game that has loot box content in it or you when it comes to console games mobile games pc whatever but just like little changes like that, if per se the bill were to pass, would make the developers of these games actually think a little bit more carefully on how they introduce new content into the game. Because I don't think, I 100% I am confident enough to say that they would not shut down their games. Because if they shut down their games, they pretty much shut down the biggest income that they can get from uh, all of the games that they have introduced because after it, it just in general though like i feel like that's something they would not do they will make changes in game they would maybe even change the pricing for anybody over the age of 18 or even though i highly doubt it because this bill is mainly just or this act bill whatever you want to call it is mainly focused on kids under the age of 18 uh they could probably change they honestly will probably just change things in within their game to make it so that that way it won't grow that addiction or that that addiction that um that the senator uh thinks kids will develop when honestly <laughs> to be to be frank there are many way worse addictions than buying uh in-game content within a video game i mean per me personally i feel like uh you know drugs uh alcohol just things like that are much more important than the end game uh loot for in video games but i can understand that the senator is trying to it's not honestly he's not trying to do bad he's just trying to do good for children and that's that's the bottom line is he's just focused on making sure that there is one less addiction being taken out uh, at least until they, they're the age of 18 and then after that they're pretty much on their own you know they if they want to you know gamble at a casino or just you know actually uh develop that addiction in uh in game or for video games with in-game loot then that's all on them but this isn't a way for him to try to help our parents uh out there to try to control some of the things that's happening with the games that their parents are letting they, their kids uh play so Again, guys, I honestly don't feel like this is uh, anything of great importance, and especially if you play any JP uh, versions of these uh, these games, mobile games, whatever it is, um, you there is nothing for you to worry about because there are already laws uh, <clears throat> protecting you from uh, these uh, this, the whole loot box thing and everything like that. So it's honestly something that you don't have to worry about for any, but for anybody else who plays like the global versions of like these mobile games or in game or video games with in game loot uh you don't in my opinion you don't have to worry too much about it though so uh let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this i will be linking a few audio a few articles for you guys so that you guys can read a little bit more details about the act what it is that the senator wishes to do to help out children under the age of 18 but again guys uh this is nothing to worry about you honestly even if 
something were even if this act were to pass it probably won't be for probably uh maybe a couple months to maybe even a few years so i would you know just play your games you know enjoy the games that you do but of course if you feel like you have any type of addiction when it comes to uh mobile games in general though you know i am always here to talk uh, i can always try to give my advice on what it is that i did to stop my uncontrolling wailing that i did in union cause i'm always here to to talk you can always uh, join the discord server if you desire but of course though you know that's basically my final thoughts on it this is something that honestly nobody should worry about because uh if the companies want to keep their games alive they'll, they'll just have to change the difficulty of content within uh the game so thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for hearing me out let me know again in the comment section below what do you feel about this bill like in all honesty like do you do you are you worried about it you think that um you know certain regulations certain changes could happen within in game or just whatever it is that you feel that you wish to express in the comment section below thanks so much for watching guys and I will catch you guys in my next video.